Hello children in this lesson we will learn about the tiling patterns made from different shapes Appu has come to Duck Uncle's shop to buy a shirt for his birthday Uncle is showing him shirts with different designs Look aren't all these shirts beautiful Children Do you see something unique in the design of these shirts? Yes, here shapes are being repeated again and again. What do we call this? Absolutely right. We call it a pattern. Appu loved the shirt made with the yellow flower pattern he took the shirt from uncle and started to walk towards his home when appu was going home with his shirt he saw a certain kind of pattern of tiles on the path appu started thinking how this pattern would have been made Just then Sher Khan was passing by on way to his house Appu asked Sher Khan if he could tell him how this pattern would have been made Children can you tell how these patterns on the floor are made No Come let's learn it from Sher Khan Sher Khan said to Appu that this is very easy. The tiles are joined in a manner that there is no gap left in between the tiles. Children, is this possible? Come, let's take on one tile from the pattern on the floor. How can we attach these tiles? to make the pattern on the floor yes we can make this pattern by arranging these tiles horizontally like this then vertically and then again horizontally and so on appu enjoyed making patterns with the tiles he thanked sher khan and bought some curvy shaped tiles to make a beautiful pattern on the floor of his house Appu reached home and with great excitement started making patterns with tiles bought from the market He tried hard using Sher Khan's method but He was unable to create the pattern. Children, can you help Appu make a beautiful design from these tiles? Make sure not to leave any gap in your design. Yes, we can make a beautiful design in this manner with no gap in between. using appu styles appu is so happy to see his new floor that he is dancing with joy children in this lesson we learned about tiling patterns made from different shapes in the next lesson we will learn about some more interesting examples